हेलो स्टूडेंट्स तो आज का हमारा क्वेश्चन है x प्लस टू टाइम्स एक्स प्लस थ्री टाइम्स x प्लस फोर टाइम्स x प्लस फाइव एंड डिवाइड बाय x माइनस टू टाइम्स x माइनस थ्री टाइम्स x माइनस फोर टाइम्स x माइनस फाइव दिस इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड x बिलोंग्स टू आर एंड वी विल फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ x तो देखिए स्टूडेंट्स इस वाली प्रॉब्लम को हम किस प्रकार से सॉल्व करेंगे हेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन नोमिनेटर दैट इज x प्लस टू x प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव लुक केयरफुल सम ऑफ टू एंड फाइव दैट इज सेवन एंड सम ऑफ थ्री प्लस फोर दैट इज सेवन सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस एक्स प्लस टू इज एक्स प्लस फाइव सो हेयर एक्स प्लस टू इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एक्स प्लस फाइव एंड दिस एक्स प्लस थ्री इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एक्स प्लस फोर एंड डिवाइड बाय This minus two and this minus five that is minus seven and here is students minus three minus four that is minus seven. So this x minus two is multiplied by x minus five. And here x minus five. And this x minus three is multiplied by x minus four. So students here x minus three times x minus four and this is equals to one. Now look carefully. First, we will multiply it. x plus two is multiplied by x plus five. Then this x is multiplied by x plus five. Then x is multiplied by x. That is x square, and this x is multiplied by five. Then we get five times x. So, students here, x square plus five times x, and this two is multiplied by x. Then we get two times x, and plus, and this two is multiplied by five. Then we get ten. And here, x is multiplied by x plus four. Then we get x square plus four times x, and this three is multiplied by x. Then we get three times x, and this three is multiplied by four. Then we get twelve, and divide by. This x is multiplied by x minus five. Then we get x square minus five times x, and this minus two is multiplied by x. Then we get minus two times x, and this minus two is multiplied by minus five. Then we get plus ten. And here, this x is multiplied by x minus four. Then we get x square minus four times x. And this minus three is multiplied by x. Then we get minus three times x. And this minus three is multiplied by minus four. Then we get plus twelve. And this is equals to one. Now, students, here five times x plus two times x that is seven times x. And here three four times x plus three times x that is seven times x. And here minus Five times x minus two times x that is minus seven times x and here minus four times x minus three times x that is seven minus seven times x. So in numerator, x square plus seven times x plus ten times x square plus seven times x. And here is twelve. This is twelve. And here is twelve ten. So this twelve is same as ten plus two. And divide by x square. Minus seven times x plus ten times x square minus seven times x plus this ten twelve is same as ten plus two and this is equals to one. Now look carefully, students, in numerator and denominator. Here x square plus seven times x plus ten and here x square plus seven times x plus ten. So students, if we put x square plus seven times x plus ten, this is equals to a and here students x square minus seven times x plus ten. And here x square minus seven times x plus ten. So students, if we put x square minus seven times x plus ten, this is equals to b. Then this expression is replaced by a. Then students here a times this expression is replaced by a plus two. And divide by this expression is replaced by b. And here this expression is replaced by b plus two. And this is equals to one. Now, if we use cross multiply, then we will get in left hand side that is a times a plus two is equals to b times b plus two. Now, if a is multiplied by a plus two, then we get a square plus two times a, and this is equals to this b is multiplied by b plus two. Then we will get b square plus two times b. Now, here students in left hand side that is a square plus two times a, and here in right hand side that is b square plus two times b. So. If we take all the expression in same side, then you will get a square minus b square plus two times a minus two times b, and this is equals to zero. Here is square minus b square, and we know that the algebraic identity of a square minus b square that is a plus b times a minus b. And here, if we take common two, then here is students a minus b, and this equals to zero. Now, 
here a minus 2 and uh, sorry here a minus b and here a minus b if we take a minus b is common a minus b is common then here is students a plus b plus 2 and this is equals to 0 either a minus b this is equals to 0 either a plus b plus 2 this is equals to 0 let's say this is case first and this is case second now first we will solve this case first case first case first that is a minus b this is equals to 0 so students a is equals to b now we know that value of a that is x square plus 7 times x plus 10 so this is replaced by x square plus 7 times x plus 10 and this is equals to this b is replaced by x square minus 7 times x plus 10 x square minus 7 times x plus 10 now this x square and this x square is cancelled out and this plus 10 and this plus 10 is cancelled out so students here 7 times x this is equals to minus 7 times x here if we take all the expression in same side then 7 times x plus 7 times x and this is equals to 0 and we know that 7 times x plus 7 times x that is 14 times x and this is equals to 0 and if we divide both sides 14 then this 14 and this 14 is cancelled out this implies x is equals to 0 divided by 14 that is 0 here students x is equals to 0 now we will solve this case second that is a plus b plus 2 case second that is a plus b plus 2 and we know that value of a that is x square plus 7 times x plus 10 and value of b that is x square minus 7 times x plus 10 so this is replaced by x square plus 7 times x plus 10 plus and this b is replaced by x square minus 7 times x plus 10 and plus 2 and this is equals to 0 here plus 7 times x and minus 7 times x that is cancel out x square plus x square that is 2 times x square plus 10 plus 10 plus 2 that is plus 22 and this is equals to 0. Now 2 times x square this is equals to negative of 22 and if divide both side 2 then this 2 and this 2 is cancel out and this 22 is divided by 2 then we get 11. So here x square this is equals to minus 11. Look carefully here if x belongs to r then x square is always positive and this is negative so students here x does not belong to r because students this left hand side is always positive and this is negative here imaginary roots are, are exist but real roots does not exist so students here x is equals to zero only real solution so students this is our final answer students if you like my videos then please subscribe my channel and thank you